are married, there is a spiritual connection to your marriage, which we call spiritual marriage. That is still in your life, it's still in your family. And it is contending with your peace in marriage. And God says, as I lay hands to pray for you today, it's going to disconnect it. Do you know what I am seeing? Can I tell you what I'm seeing? I'm seeing you in court. And I saw your passport. And I saw documents. And I saw your name on your passport. On a document. And I saw divorce certificate being signed in your name. And God said, all these connections, they have been connected to you. So at the end of the day, you will come to that point of unfulfillment, which will lead to divorce. Unfulfillment, which will lead to divorce. You say what? That's very true. That's very true. That's very true. You know the original intention of the devil? Because your heart loves God. And because... You know the word of God and you don't want to be a person who has disobeyed God. To say, I am not fulfilled in marriage. Yet I don't want to leave. Because of that heart you have. The spirit of God is telling me that it has come to a point where you are almost about to lose your mind. I was telling my sister. You were telling your sister yes, that what? Yesterday I was telling her like... I oftenly contemplate on leaving my marriage and she was encouraging me to stay. Where is your sister? This one? Oh, sister, you to come and receive prayer. Come and receive prayer. Contemplating. Contemplating. And if you fight it and fight it, the spirits, because already I am seeing that, I'm seeing that, yes. that you are seated alone and you are talking. You are seated alone and you are discussing with yourself. Not knowing that people, people are seeing me talking to myself. Because where you are, you feel you are not supposed to be there. It is marriage. Yes, I'm talking true. about marriage. Yes, that's true. And also, yeah, your husband. Your husband. I see your husband back in Zambia. Yes. Eh? Yes, he's, he's out of Zambia right now. He's out of Zambia. Yeah. But listen. As your husband returned to Zambia, I saw spiritually police officers putting handcuffs on his hand. And, and I saw the police leading him to the police station. And I saw you, your two feet, I can see it now. Your two feet, I saw it standing at Kabwata police station. You are standing there and your husband is in there and it has to do with money. Missing money that belongs to the government. That belongs to the government. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. There are three things the anointing mm -hmm. on me personally uh -huh. and every prophet. Yes. Number one is good music. Amen. Good music that brings the presence of God down. Amen. Number three. Mm. Uh, number two is excitement. Amen. When the man of God is happy. Amen. Number three is anger. Mm. When the man of God is provoked and he becomes emotional the prophetic anointing comes out. Amen. And today I am emotional. Amen. Your husband will not be arrested. Amen. He will not be arrested. 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 Not be arrested. There is something that is cooking in the realm of the spirit. You may not have the eye that I have to see what I am seeing. But something is cooking that will lead to your husband being called for questioning about missing money. This is your sister. Sister, you are very beautiful. You look like my mother's relatives. Thank you, you look man like of God. Them. Thank you, man of God. You look like them. Put your hand in my hand. A woman who has come to a point where she feels she has made a mistake. And she's thinking of walking out of her matrimonial home. And she's under so much pressure. And the foundation is saying, if you don't walk out, we will frustrate you until you lose your mind. But I know it's a demonic attack. Yes. I know it's a demonic attack. As young as you are, you have even started feeling pain in your chest. You're feeling pain in your heart. Yes. And it is not spiritual. It is not spiritual attack. It is because you are sighing every day and you are thinking too much. 
you are in a dilemma. You don't know when to turn to the left or to turn to the right. And every now and then, you think, 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 and you go, hmm. Should I find myself another man? How will the world see me? All my friends who know me, that I'm a married woman, when they hear about it, what would they say? What about my family? These years I've invested in my marriage. What will become of me? But the truth of the matter, you are not happy in your marriage. You are not happy in your marriage. You are not happy in your marriage. Jesus intervene. Yes. Jesus intervene. Yes. Jesus intervene. Yes. Jesus intervene. Jesus intervene. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. Make a way for her. Make a way for her. Yes. Make a way for her. Yes. Make a way for her. Yes. We fire prayer for you. Jesus. Church, begin to pray for her. Pray for her. We fire prayer for you. Yes. We fire prayer for you. Yes. Jehovah make a way. 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 Yes. Let the foundations in her family that is making her to be unfulfilled in marriage let it be broken yes. say as the lord you are a royal diadem mm, mm. before me yes you are not just an ordinary woman yes you are an instrument in my hands and if you would speak positively yes and talk positively mm. about all that you are going through yes. he said i the lord yes i know Mm. But based on your word, yes. I will come in and I will help you. Amen. I will come in and I will help you. Yes. Other than that, yes. other than that, mm. this dilemma, mm. 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 as a prophet, yes. what I am seeing mm. is going to lead to the early demise mm. of your husband, yes. which is even worse mm. than divorce. Yes. Why are you saying it's true? He, two days ago, he said because of me not being with him, he's been having constant headaches. He's not generally feeling well. He's not okay. No. He's not your okay. Sister your sister is your witness. Yes. It's going to lead to his early demise. Which is even worse. Because maybe you people, you don't know how spiritually, when you are a divorcee, and when you are... What goes on in the spirit? And as a prophet of God, yes. the solution, I believe God has already given us in his word. Amen. God doesn't like divorce. Amen. God doesn't like divorce. So woman, even though you are unfulfilled in your marriage and you are starved sexually, eh? you are starved sexually. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to your sister. But I don't want to look at her as I'm talking to her. I'm talking to you. Because when I look at her, her emotions will come up again. And she will cry. And it will trigger my emotions. And I will become sad. But even you, God says I should pray for heart condition. BP. Thank you, pressure. Lord of God. I'm hypertensive. You are hypertensive. God said I should pray for you concerning it. Jesus. Are you jamming that hand for the Lord? I said, are you jamming that hand for the Lord? Holy Ghost! Fire. fire! Say fire one. Fire one. Professor. Professor. This is, uh, this clinic is called what? Fire Nation Amen. Clinic. Amen. Uh -huh. So the doctor is able to di diagnose you of a sickness without any machine, without any lab. He's able to diagnose you. Have we spoken before? We have never spoken before. No. Mama, are you sure? We Very have never sure. spoken before. We have never. I've but the Lord says been. there is a heart condition and I should pray for you. And this hypertension that you are going through, it is not a physical sickness just because you are eating too much sugar or something. It's a spiritual because every now and then you appear in the camp of witches and they have been trying Deliver me, man of are, God. Uh -huh, you are Deliver the type me. I want to prophesy to. They have been trying to pull your heart. They have been trying to pull your heart. But God says, it is not your time to die. Amen. And that is why, when you sleep at night, all your dreams are demonic attack. You are being attacked. Every dream is a demonic attack. It's a demonic attack. 
dreams are bad. All your dreams are bad. In fact, and I know it is not the prayer of any man of God. Uh-huh. It is just because of the love God has for you. Amen. Because several times you have they have taken you to the cemetery mm. and the spirit of God has brought you back. Oh my God. Several times they have taken you to the cemetery and the spirit of God has brought you back. It is not your time to die. Yes. And you will not die out of heart failure. Yes. You will not die because of hypertension. Yes. That spirit that also comes mm. to sleep with you in your dreams, just as your sister, from time to time. It doesn't come as frequent as it used to be. It's true. Once in a while, it's it will come. True. It is there. It's true. From today, I break it by fire. Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. Sir. Woman, hmm. as I'm praying for you now, I saw your ring on the damp hill. It's a lady's wedding ring on a damp hill. I saw in the realm of the spirit, I took you there and I saw you picked it. So even though I have never laid my eyes on you before, before today, I can prophesy and tell you that maritally, you are not there, but restoration has come to you. Amen. Restoration has come to you. Hey. Restoration Jesus. has come to you. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Jesus. Burn by fire. Burn by fire. Jesus. 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 Burn by fire. Yes. Put it down. By the price of the wounds of Jesus. Yes. You are healed. Jesus. I command sugar diabetes to leave you. Yes. I command hypertension. Yes. She said, I am hypertensive. Mm. What a beautiful grammar. Oh, yeah. Yes. Long life. Yes. Long life. Yes. The devil doesn't fight those who are not important to God. Yes. When the devil is fighting you, he knows your word to God. Yes. But we thank God for strengthening us. Amen. And encouraging us. So people like this, yes. who have come to the end of their journey, God can use them to lift them up. Amen. It's not me who is healing you. Uh -huh. but rather it is the power of God that is healing you. Amen. As we have spoken the mind of God. Yes. And also the will of God. Yes. Which is divine healing. Mm. From hypertension. Yes. Blood. Pressure. Mm. Heart. Condition. Yes. Your healing remains permanent. Amen. Your healing remains permanent. Amen. Your healing remains permanent. Amen. Your healing remains permanent. Jesus. I see. I see also headache. Mm. Mm. Headache. I see it coming like coming out like smoke mm. from this side of your head. Coming out like smoke from this type of your head. You will not die in your sleep. Jesus. Hallelujah. Healing is your portion. Yes. yes. Jesus. It is done in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Yes. The spiritual marriage on your life is broken. Amen. The insanity. Yes. The confusion. Yes. The unfulfillment deep down in your heart. Yes. Is broken. Yes. Lord. As God has touched your sister. Yes. Accurately. May Jehovah touch you. Amen. And resolved. Yes this void yes. and emptiness yes. in your heart yes. concerning your marriage. Yes. May he open doors yes. for you. Jesus. Financial doors. Yes. May he give you new yes. opportunities yes. financially yes. to become independent. Yes. Financially independent. Yes. And the moment your husband enters into Zambia, yes. bring your husband to me, okay? Amen. Bring your husband to me. Yes, who is testifying? Hallelujah. Allow me to welcome Mrs. to the altar. Mrs. Uh, let's welcome her with a clap of it. It is our month of Thanksgiving. Hey, Mrs. Was it not just recently we prayed for you here? And already you are here with a testimony. Jump your hands for the Lord. Oh. Mrs. Come closer, come closer. Amen, church. Amen. <laughs> Just like he said, it's recent that I received prayers in this church. That was the uh, 25th of October. And um, soon after that, I went home. That was a Tuesday when I was having a conversation with my husband. And he decided that um, there's some equipment that was being run by other people. Then he told me, like, 
I think I should entrust you with it. You should start running with it. I was like, okay, I will come the, <laughs> the equipment. And soon after that, he sent me picture, photos of the equipment, and I shared with a friend. Immediately after that, we actually found that there was someone who was in their need of that which we had to offer. So we immediately, we immediately signed the contract wow. and the equipment started work under my management on the 5th of... Wow. Wow. You, you see, somebody seated there doesn't understand what you have just said. No, they they don't understand, understand what you... One of the reasons why Mama broke down as I was giving her the prophecy and it touched her because the man of God had touched on a sensitive matter upon which she was contemplating in a dilemma whether to stay in the marriage or to walk away from the marriage was because of the same. Was because of the same. But marital issues, sometimes you can't go into details unless if the person is willing herself or himself to share. Because one of the problems was that the husband had literally left her out. When she came to see me after that administration in my office, he said, man of God, just like you said, I'm in a dilemma. I want to leave my marriage because the marriage is like master and servant. My husband is the master and I am the servant. Everything he has here in Zambia, there is a brother of his he has entrusted and I'm left out, including so many other reasons. But immediately after the prayer, the husband had to call her from which country? Canada. From Canada. And for the first time in their marriage, the husband has entrusted her with something that belongs to him. Now you can jam your hands on the wall. Wow. I want you to lift up your hands and say, God answers prayers. God answers prayers. Say it again. God answers prayers. For the last time. God answers prayers. Whatever prayer I'm about to pray for you. If you receive it with a big amen, Jehovah will answer you by fire. Whoever is your destiny helper, wherever they are, after this prayer, may they locate you by fire. May they locate you by fire. Read that you are sitting here. Whatever has put in you as in a state of dilemma, whatever is going on in your bedroom, which you cannot share, but you know that it is killing you slowly and quietly. I tap into this testimony and I prophesy over your head. The same God who has answered her prayer, He is answering your prayer right now. He is solving your problem right now. Holy God. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Mama, we bless God that all the way in Canada we can pray on this altar and God will send his fire to change your husband's mind. Say so for the first time. So as we came to Zambia, how long now? Since you came from Canada to Zambia, how long now? Three months. Three months now. Yes. And for these three months, your husband had this business. Yes. They, they, and he never entrusted you with any of his business or even his properties. No. This is the first time in three months. So you were running around looking for jobs, I believe. Yes, and actually I've got another testimony to that. Share, 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 share. Share your testimony. Share your testimony. Yes, uh, because of that, I, I, I started a personal business which I in transportation. So I did the work sometime in September, but they never paid me. But soon after that, on the 29th, I went to collect my payment. They paid me on the same documents that they were receiving, they, they were refusing to pay me for earlier on. Oh, and that was after we ministered to you and your sister yes, here. Yes, uh, you ministered to us on the 25th. I got the payment on the 29th. Holy Ghost! Before I allow her to take her seat, she's a newcomer. Was it three Sundays ago? Yes. When we prayed for her? Yes. And I entered into my elements. Chai, fire nation. 
We have a prophet in our midst. Oh. We have a prophet in our midst. I pray that what God has begun in your life, it will not stop. The heart of your husband is open. And I push more of your love into his heart. That even the rest of the businesses and plots he has in Lusaka, he will quickly, quickly entrust them into your hands. And I pray that this marriage God has given to you, every area there is a loophole. By reason of you standing on this altar to testify, the anointing on this altar should cancel that loophole. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God wants to assure you that if you can do this, then the rest of the problems why you wanted to leave marriage, he will solve it as well. And you will become a happy wife in Jesus' mighty name. Keep serving the Lord. Keep serving. Clap your hands as you take a seat.